rockets came out again. This night is just ridiculous. Look at that over there. So tonight there's going to be some good strong aurora hopefully um, loads of apps and Facebook groups have been going quite active today um, to foresee hopefully strong aurora activity so I'm going to get set up just now and head to a place that I've been before but never to capture the aurora but it's a nice north facing place it's called a uh, backwater reservoir which is um, a few miles north of Kerry Muir um, in Angus and a lot of photographers go there to capture the aurora so I've never been so I'm hopefully go capture some aurora tonight it depends how strong it is not don't really know but there's a bright moon out as well so it does have to be quite strong to ho to hopefully punch through that moonlight so I'll quickly get set up and head there but I'm expecting the activity to be relatively soon in the night just because it's already getting picked up in Norway just now and it's coming quite far southwards uh, over Scandinavia so far so it will probably be a very early show um, sometimes if the aurora is high at high activity and it's not getting seen over Norway just now it will be like say it's, you know, 10 o'clock midnight when, before it gets strong for us but since it's so strong already over Scandinavia I think as soon as it gets dark it could be pretty good so I'll quickly get set up and go out hopefully to capture some moonlight aurora using my phone as a microphone because it's windy as hell up here but look at that behind me in the moonlight oh this is one of the best northern light shows I've uh, seen in Scotland oh my goodness look how big that arc is that arc is absolutely huge so I'm, I've got a time lapse as well just going right beside the camera that you're watching this on so the time lapse is going to capture some pretty awesome footage of this but look how big that arc is and how bright that is Oh, I'm going to be out all night, look at that! I could see um, the pillars dancing as well whilst I was driving up so I had to be careful because the roads are icy but look at that view, so I'm going to take loads of pictures because that's just ridiculous oh. Oh, I need to take a picture, that's ridiculous. This is phenomenal. So we're currently still filming. Oh, you can still see me. Oh, the wind. This wind has just been non-stop wind. So I don't know if you can see me, hello. I'll be in the pictures as well. It's kind of subsided a wee bit, but you can still see how bright it is. 
can still see the huge arc. So I'm at Backwater Dam, which is a couple of miles north of Bla uh, Blair Gowrie. There is about a 60-70% illuminated moon, but to be honest, I think that's kind of helping the scene. As you can see, the whole scene is really nicely illuminated, so it's just... I've never seen it, this show going on for so long. It's been going on for a good half an hour hour now because as i said when i was driving up i could see it through the window so i was like oh my god but it seems to have just died down there i can't see much of an arc now to the naked eye but that was unbelievable oh, oh. Oh, my fingers so i've been taking the so i've been taking pictures with 50 millimeter 1.8 24 no not i've not took this is getting shot the videos are getting shot on a 24 millimeter 1.4 and my time lapse is getting shot on a 20 millimeter 1.8, which is one of my favorite lenses actually now. But I do love for Aurora shots, I found that the 50 millimeter 1.8 is fantastic because it zooms right in and the Aurora just looks absolutely huge. The whole sky looks like to be green. There's a pillar over there. I don't know if it's in frame, but there's a pillar over there. Oh my hands, it is Baltic. I think this, tonight's gonna to be one of the coldest nights of the year, so. We'll see how long we last, but what a show. I'm so happy with these images. The 50mm 1.8 really helps zoom into the landscape and picks up the structure of the aurora and just makes a good image with the structure of the aurora over the landscape. It's just a perfect focal length for aurora pictures. I also captured a lovely time lapse and because the show was going for a, from about 7 to 9 o'clock, half 9, um, there was a lot of dancing and activity throughout that time so the time lapse is probably one of my longest Aurora time lapses, I think it's about 28 seconds so enjoy the nice long time lapse. Okay, so I'm currently just on my way home and look it's came out again. This night is just ridiculous. This is it's not much of a picture here, but I'll try and focus in. Hold on. Look at that. Oh. It's just all over the place again. Look at that over there! Ooh. Bloody hell! This is just mental! Look at all that! I'm, I'm going to actually take some pictures because this is just ridiculous. Right, I'll get my, my, my good camera out and take more pictures. It was great to capture the Aurora once again over Scotland and this picture just with myself and my car watching the very last of the show 
was just a perfect way to end the night. Hopefully we get more some more shows in Scotland throughout this winter. We've only got, well, we're in mid-February now, so we might only have two, three more months of possible Aurora. So hopefully we get a few more until we start getting into the spring and summer months. So it's a brilliant night, definitely one to remember, and I'm so glad I captured it on film. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.